the uh, STID Diver Propulsion Device, or DPD. This is a two-man, uh, free-flooding wet submersible. We designed originally for uh, US SOCOM about a generation ago as a method to move men and equipment uh, underwater. Uh, we designed it to US Navy specification, speed range payload, and it became over time the most widely used uh, DPV of its type. Uh, over 500 units in operation worldwide, 30 different countries. Uh, with all these users over time, we listened to them and most users wanted additional speed, range, and payload as missions evolved and they got used to using the DPD instead of swimming. We developed a new Tech 2 thruster, which replaced the original uh, Naval Special Warfare thruster. We also added a, a new battery or an additional battery, so you have a single thruster that has the ability to have a second battery for extended range, so more speed and payload. We also went a step further and developed a two-thruster model, or a dual thruster, we call, which requires a second battery. Two thrusters, two batteries, which provides independent, redundant propulsion. If you lose a battery, you continue to move. If you have an inoperable thruster, you continue to move. All that together provided additional speed, range, and payload that customers wanted. The payload in particular, uh, we added external tie-down points for the DPD. You can bring ladders, uh, weapons and bags, uh, climbing gear, external equipment. And we also developed the pod, which is a, a towable trailer for the DPD. Uh, what the customers were telling us, they just wanted to bring additional equipment. So, as the DPD evolved over time, we've really developed what we think is the F-150 Ford of the sea. This is the RNAV-2 precision navigation system for the DPD. As I talked about earlier, we had upgraded the original DPD platform at the speed range and payload. Operators now, they had that capability. They want to know where they're going beyond a compass and a depth gauge. So precision navigation was the next product we developed. And we did it in a partnership with uh, Green Sea, a company based in Vermont in the United States that provided the software solution for the navigation uh, we've achieved with the DPD. Now the RNAV2 was designed to fit in the DPD. It runs on its own battery and to be taken out and used for uh, just combat diving, swimming on its own, EOD application, or special operations missions that didn't require the DPD. And again, of course, you can put it in the DPD. Once it's in, it also powers a series of optional capability. A sonar that provides obstacle identification and obstacle avoidance, which is enabled by the RNAV2, and an additionally what we call AP2 autopilot. So we developed the autopilot in an effort to reduce the pilot or the DPD driver workload. So all the operator really needs to do is push the button on the RNAV and he's provided uh, heading and depth control for the DPD, which is a game changer for our community. So we've got the platform, we've got a, an RNAV2 providing the navigation, a sonar up front so you're not hitting things and you're identifying items, and it's all automated with an autopilot. Again, the autopilot like the RNAV2 enabled by the Green Sea software. So that in itself is a very appealing package, provides a lot of new capability to uh, combat divers and, and the commanders. We believe the development of the autonomous capability we call OM2 uh, allows the, the operator to either use the DPD in a man mode or unmanned. So in a, in a particular scenario, a DPD could launch with two operators from a mothership, rib, sub, whatever. It could transition to the beach or a target. Operators could get off and the DPD can return to the base or to a, a hover location autonomously. When the mission is done, the DPD can be called back. All done through, uh, you know, through water comms uh, and, and other communications methods. This really provides a unprecedented capability to combat divers and commanders. The platform also could be used uh, for resupply, uh, additional extraction, 
or in an ISR mode. When we originally designed the DPD, we used control surfaces like an airplane so the DPD could be handled underwater without having to use a lot of the body. So up front we have uh, the bow planes. You can see here, just move simple action. You move the yoke up and down, the vehicle goes up and down. In the rear end, you've got the stern planes. Move the yoke to the left or to the right. The vehicle responds accordingly. So very straightforward aside, uh, design, again, just like an aircraft. That design, those control services designed into the DPD have ended up enabling, of course, the autopilot, which we have the actuators uh, back here in the rear of the DPD. So an actuator for the bow planes, an actuator for the stern plane. And that is unique to the DPD as a platform uh, that enables it to uh, take on the task of automation because of the existing designed in control surfaces in the DPD. Green Sea is a software company and we specialize in control and navigation for diver systems and uh, unmanned underwater vehicles. Well, our traditional business has been in autonomy and precision navigation for UUVs, unmanned underwater vehicles. We partnered with STID a couple years ago to move this precision navigation and UUV technology into the diver propulsion platform to provide combat divers and special forces the same precision nav and autonomy and, and uh, autopilots that we provide in robotic systems. I think one of the biggest challenges between uh, putting autonomy and precision nav in a DPD over a UUV is the user interface. Because in a UUV, we don't have that real-time user interface. We don't have an operator working with cooperatively with the vehicle. So when we moved that autonomy and that, that traditional robotic software into the DPD, we had to spend a lot of time understanding how the diver worked with the vehicle, how the diver interacted with the vehicle through the lifetime of a mission, and designing a user interface that extended the function of the diver and gave the diver bandwidth back, made, made his job easier through this user interface versus made things more complicated.